Well today we're in the Renas River at the top of me wellies after the last few days rain it's been quite uh, horrific now This little river comes down from the hills of Brandywell Oh, we're going to be able to walk it today or not? Maybe. I'll keep it to those shallower bits. Water's lovely and clear. I'm going to tell you a bit about this area which I discovered the other night. The aerial shots by John Warnham. And it starts from where the Renas runs from, really, which is the top of the hills above Brandywell. So, as you're looking down the glen in this video, you can see the um, Crank Do, Lower Crank Do, Erie Farm, Little London, and then on the hill above it is Bella Ellis, which is a ruin. Further down, right at the bottom, there's another ruined Bella Sale. There's Bella Human Riding School. I'm not sure whether I can I'll be brave enough to walk the whole river today, because it certainly is deep. If you've anyone ever wondered about the effect of a polarizing filter, I'll show you. It's what's like when it's not on. You say that's what it's like when it's not on, and this is the effect of the water you get when you go out. So, if you haven't got a full rising filter, go and get one, worth its weight in gold. So, spot a little bit shallower here. Definitely good force enough last night's rain. This side looks so serene and quiet, doesn't it? to Glen Helm, up through Laurel Bank, Timmel Mills, face it comes up at Peel. But we're going to do the other side today. Penny! Now where was I? What was I talking about? Oh I know. Do a research the other night and I found a bit of a place called Renass Corn Mill. Now on the Renass River There was supposed to be originally eight mills between here and Glen Helen, or for some say Laurel Bank, and um, Timber Mills. 
So I was trying to count them up. There's one at Glenmore, which is Burning Mill Cranes, used to be a cafe shop. That had a huge big mill wheel. And uh, yeah, apparently the uh, wheel produced 60 horsepower from water. It worked well, apparently Burning Mill Central trees are planted and the trees took a lot of force of water for feeding themselves, I guess. There used to be a paddle pub there, now called the Black Dub, something to do with TT. Cafe, lovely place to have tea, really great place. Penny! And there's the one at Glen Helen, there's the Renas Mill. But the one I'm looking for is called the Renas Corn Mill. And so we're going to have a look today, because I think I know where it is. I'll take it up and show it to you, hopefully. So this stream comes down from the hills of Brandywell, more of a river today, and um, there's other stream on the right I'm going to show you now. Penny! So this one here comes down from the hills off above Little London. this stream I do know there's um, an old building up here so I'm guessing that's where the mill will be I'm not risking walking up there we'll go up and look from the other side I love in Cleo's water, isn't it? So this is the other side of that river. Or stream, it's the river today. So we come up the footpath to it. I thought I would land up here for about eight or nine years. Never really looked at this side of the glen. But that little place further up there. Looks like a weir. <laughs> and that is the weir as they say. So the mill will be somewhere here. That stream behind it comes all the way down from the top of the London Hills and um, enters the Renas River, it's Little London. There used to be a little chapel at London too, but I don't find any pictures of it. Closed in the 70s. And that's kind of weird, fall flat on my backside. And there it is. An ass corn mill. It was last um, operated oh, for letting in 1865 and 1872 by some majors in Peel. And it was a part of the time they were selling all the letting off Little London. So perhaps that was one of the last times it was operating. Quite a uh, substantial mill. 
and the mill workings are doing in the shed behind it. And the races, the water would have come in through this little race here on the side of it, down through here back into the river. And I suppose it would have been quite powerful in its day. Obviously not as powerful as the Glen Moore one. And it says it is a corn mill, so whether it's used for thrashing or grinding, I don't know. And of course the people who do know are no longer with us. So as I said, it was up for auction in 1872. And I couldn't find any mention of it after that really. So I think this must be the Renas corn mill. I've only seen another one like this. These ruins, a water mill, it was up in Thalty Will Farm. It had its own water mill, powered mill. It's the only other one. This is much more complete than other there. Still bits of wood left in this one. First sign of spring. Some of the cheers all up. A whole glen of snowdrops all coming out. All ready for St. Bridget's Day. It's the 1st of February. And we'll talk about that as we get near the time. It's one of the big days in our year for me and Eve. Just a joy to see them, isn't it? 